Commander. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye. Good to go. I'm on it, Commander. Got it covered. Affirmative. Copy that. Solid copy. Hello people of the Earth and welcome back to Quicksafe TV. My name is Mike and this is XCOM Enemy Unknown. Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Assault class in the game. Let's start off by talking about the generally Assault. What is Assault? What is the Assault's purpose on the battlefield? The Assault class is the kind of soldier that gets the job done. She or he can get into the middle of the fray, destroy the enemy and get back alive. They can easily lead any kind of charge on the enemy, they can wear medium and heavy armor, whatever it is that they wear, they are going to receive the bonus to their hit points. They can deal tremendous amounts of damage, they can survive enemy onslaught on them, they can intercept the enemy movements, they can disrupt their actions. The assault troops are especially effective when you need to save civilians quickly or generally when the speed is of the essence and enemy positioning has to be disrupted. The variety of skills that assault has had lets you customize them to a higher damaging output or to more survivability and tactical solutions. Let's now talk about the abilities of the Assault. The first and foremost skill of the Assault, one of the signature abilities of the class, is the ability to fire or perform overwatch after sprinting. This ability allows Assault in essence to have three moves per turn, which allows him to catch up, to intercept, to get in position and to secure difficult locations in the game. On the next level you will be provided with your first choice, tactical sense or aggression. Aggression will confer an additional critical hit chance per additional enemies in sight up to 30% and the tactical sense will allow you to have additional defense per enemy in sight up to 20%. I am a huge fan of Tactical Sense because it allows my Assault Troops to stay alive as long as possible, which is especially effective because you generally don't want to lose your troops. Aggression can be more effective for a player who would want to deal additional damage with his or her Assault. The next choice you're going to have to make is Lightning Reflexes or Close and Personal. Lightning Reflexes will allow you to ignore the first reaction shot from the enemy, making the Assault the most effective Stormtrooper in the game. The other perk, Close and Personal, will allow you to get additional critical chance when you're next to your target, with the bonus degrading as you get further and further away. Generally with the Assault, the more you want somebody dead, the closer you want to get before firing a shot. Close and Personal make it so that when you're adjacent to the target, because the target will be already off cover, you're going to have 80% plus from shotgun 20%, 100% critical chance. The next choice you're going to have to make is very difficult once again, Flush and rapid fire. Do not underestimate flush, it is a very powerful skill to disrupt enemy movement. This ability can open up for additional tactical opportunities for your team as your snipers will may be able to pick off the target. Flush does not deal tremendous amount of damage and is a tactical skill, not so much a killing skill. The other skill rapid fire on the other hand is a murderous skill, it's not even a killer skill, it's just a death and obliteration incarnate. In combination with basic ability of the assault, run and gun, rapid fire can become the death and doom of any enemy in the game. This ability will be incredibly effective not only with shotguns but also with assault rifles, especially when you're not too confident about your shot. The next two abilities in line for you to select from is Close Combat Specialist and Bring Em On. Close Combat Specialist will make your assault trooper the best storming unit in the game. Provided that you fight within close quarters, you will be able to deal a reaction shot against the enemy as long as he's within 4 tiles from you. This not only does not require an Overwatch but also does not require a loaded gun to work. Whether it will be fixed in the future or not, at this point in time, the Assault can actually fire this attack without having any bullets in a chamber. The other ability Bring Em On allows you to add additional damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see, up to 5 of them. This ability really is situational and allows you to destroy the enemies when they overwhelm you severely. But you have to keep in mind that to deal critical shots, you'll need to be able to have previous critical abilities selected as well, otherwise the chance to actually critically hit the enemy will be kind of low and this ability will not yield as much usefulness. The second signature ability that you're going to get on the rank of Major is the Extra Conditioning. Extra Conditioning will allow you to have bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. The heavier the armor, 
the heavier the bonus. Keep in mind, however, that pure hit points are not particularly effective on Assault, especially when you're investing into defensive skills. For Assaults, in my eyes, it's generally much more important to have much higher defense rather than it to have much higher hit points. Assault generally is more of a survival class and has higher defense, so any armor, any ability, anything at all that will allow him or her to have higher defense will be much more effective than pure out hit points. Because of the brutal and immense power of the enemies you're going to encounter late game, it's much better to dodge their attacks altogether rather than to try to sustain them, because this will do you no good, you're going to die anyway. The next choice you'll have to make is on the rank of Colonel. The Resilience versus Killer Instinct. Resilience make it so that the soldier is immune to any incoming critical hits. Resilience, as such, is one of my favorite skills in the entire game and for a very good reason. In my time in XCOM, I have lost many men. Most of these losses were due to critical hits of the enemy. Enemy has a higher critical hit chance when he's attacking you from a side while flanking. Resilience will become a milestone of survivability of your character, making it so that your character will not die as easily to enemy flanking. Him. Killer Instinct grants a huge critical hit bonus when Run and Gun was activated. This is also a very strong ability, but it's also very, very offensive. You have to keep in mind that if you take such abilities, you have to know what you're doing, because if you lose your assault, you will lose all the progress on this character so far, and you have to be extremely, extremely cautious and careful. It is my understanding that if you want your assault to be incredibly effective at offense, you might want to take at least few defensive perks. You want to strike the balance, otherwise you're just gonna die even though you might decimate the enemy. Now that we discussed all the abilities in the game and I gave you general breakdown, let me give you my super biased and personal opinion, personal take on what you should take and what worked 100% on normal Iron Man for me, worked extremely effectively I might add, is the following. My team was composed of two assaults, three heavies and one support. Both of my assaults had the following perks. A run and gun, tactical sense, lightning reflexes, rapid fire, close combat specialist, extra conditioning and resilience. With this setup, not only my assaults were incredibly tough to kill, but they also were able to dish this extra damage with rapid fire when it was necessary. I was not so focused on critical hits, perhaps not enough, I should have taken some skills for critical hits, but I really just wanted my soldiers to never die and always be in the enemy face. And it was always working 100% of the time in the entirety of the game I had lost only one of my assaults and that was due to my ridiculously stupid mistake but generally it was really effective and one of my soldiers actually survived through the entirety of the game from the first mission and until very last survived through all of my major deployments and killed over 80 enemy units and that's a goddamn good achievement I think this is all I have to say about the assault class in XCOM enemy unknown I thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening i hope you enjoyed this video in my commentary and if you did do not forget to put a like on this video and favorite it if you would like to see more from me on quick save tv do not forget to subscribe to my channel and come back for more later have a greatest day and good luck in the field of battle commander i'll see you soon bye bye